Anyway, so our talk today is about uh, brave Arctic Gold Rush dogs, and I, I was able to find a really neat book um, called The Gold Rush Dogs, which I've uh, been able to find some good information to uh, uh, fill in some of the details with this particular talk. Gold was found in mid-1800s uh, mid through the 1900s, very important for the development of, of Alaska, um, helped it become a state, obviously, uh, became important worldwide, population doubled between 1890 and 1900 to 64,000 people, still not many people. Um, one important point in the talk will concern what the dogs do, and one of the different aspects of the dogs between uh, the Canadian side where the Yukon Territory was, was that there was the Northwest Mountain Police in that area, and the United States part was lawless. Okay, uh, next slide. Okay, so people tried a lot of different things to uh, use uh, animals of burden, and uh, we had everything from Angora goats to native inhabitants, bears. And so you'll see uh, this Alaskan, uh, native Alaskan family being pulled by a bear, and I actually found two or three photographs of bears who were being used to pull things in Alaska. So, why dogs? The answer? <laughs> these dogs can't say it all. Why in the hell not? <laughs> so, this is a team of Malamutes. This is another very famous uh, photograph showing these Malamutes all in unison, howling beautifully, I'm sure. And so, the getting of dogs. Okay, next one. Now, what were they used for? Well, they're used by the prospectors as companions. They were, and many times, uh, prospectors went out alone. They couldn't trust anybody. And uh, they were workers. You can see them all loaded up with all kinds of supplies. And they were also protectors, and maybe the only protectors that the prospectors had. And you'll see the gentleman on the right, very leery, looking around with the gold in his hand. The guy on the left, you'll notice, very nicely dressed. See, you know the tie? Wearing a tie. So, <laughs> okay, next one. <laughs> Now, somebody you all know is John Muir. He was an explorer in this region, and especially around the Glacier Bay area, he mapped out a lot of glaciers, and this was his dog named Sakin. And Sakin is a very, very important and famous dog in Alaska lore. And the, the little sketch you see on the right is Sakin going across a crevasse. And so it was very hard for John Muir to get him to come across this crevasse. There's a whole story about that. Okay, next. Okay, Yukon King. We've heard of, heard of uh, Yukon King, Sergeant Preston. Okay, well, sure, our age here. So anyway, Sergeant <laughs> Preston kind of epitomized the dogs of the north with the Northwest Mounties. And here you see a, a cartoon or a, kind of a comic book image of uh, Yukon King. At the end of each serial, you might recall that uh, the Mountie Sergeant Preston said, "Well, King, thanks to you, this case is closed." Okay, next one. Okay, here you see 30 uh, letter-carrying uh, dogs getting ready to do their thing. Another one, real quick. Uh, they were stevedores. The only way to get supplies into Nome was two gums. Okay, this <laughs> Whoa, this is getting serious. Okay, go ahead. And uh, saving, saving lives was very important, and these are dogs that participated in a 674-mile dog run. And let's go ahead to the last one before I get thrown out. Uh, it's not the thought we'll be able to go on it again, one more and one more. And this will be my, well, we just skipped the film. <laughs> but my dogs. And so this is a new meeting for Gold Rush Dogs. And besides winning awards and prizes, they are close to 500 therapy dog visits. And they help me teach my classes. So they are really known as peer professors. Thank you. <laughs>